Hi, this is Chris McKaylee, and I wanted to address some common misconceptions related to ethics in the legislative process. The first misconception is that the revolving door limitation applies to legislators and staff of the legislature alike. <clears throat> However, under Article 4, Section 5E of the California Constitution, the legislature should I'll enact laws that prohibit a member of the legislature whose term of office commences on or after December 3rd, 1990 from lobbying for compensation before the legislature for 12 months after leaving office. However, no such limitation exists in the state constitution or in statute that applies the revolving door to legislative staff. Another misconception is that lobbyists can uh, communicate at any time by phone or text with assembly members on the floor. Under Assembly Rule 117.5, while on the assembly floor during any session, or even while serving on a committee during a legislative hearing, members of the assembly cannot use telephones or cell phones to make or receive calls nor can they send or receive text messages from any lobbyist. Another misconception is that both houses have adopted a formal standards of conduct for their members. The Senate has, in fact, adopted an official code of conduct for its members, while the Assembly has not done so. Nonetheless, both houses of the California legislature have extensive ethics rules and conflicts of interest uh, prohibitions. And both, of course, are bound by numerous constitutional and statutory ethics rules as well. Another misconception is that the $10 gift rule, which has been in effect since the Political Reform Act took effect in 1974, applies equally to lobbyists and lobbyist employers. However, the monthly $10 uh, gift limitation is only imposed upon registered lobbyists. Lobbyist employers have a yearly gift cap of $590. Another misconception is that only a court of law can remove a legislator from office. However, under Article 4, Section 5A1 of the California Constitution, each house of the legislature shall judge the qualifications and elections of its members and by roll call vote entered in the journal, two thirds of the membership concurring may expel a member. Uh, so the courts in this uh, uh, state have also been very clear in determining that the legislature is in fact the sole judge of legislators and whether they qualify for office or not. <clears throat> 